Okay, so I'm live. Anyone that watches this on the replay, uh, you probably won't find much interesting. I just messed that up already. You won't find this particularly interesting, is what I mean to say. This live is purely me, sat by my computer. I've got the live on my phone while I wait down, wait for the countdown, sorry, to Black Friday. So in the UK time, it is 11.16pm and... At midnight, a lot of the Black Friday deals will go live. So, I'm literally just sat here to chat. So, if anyone comes on, feel free to say hello. I'm just trying to keep myself awake. Is the basis for this. Um, I got four hours sleep last night. Took my daughter for a school run. I interrupted you watching Gar's video. Watch Gar's video first. Come back to me. This is really non-important live. This is literally me waiting for the countdown to the Black Friday deals online and I need a way of staying awake. So I've got, I should be having coffee but I've actually got tea because I'm British. Um, and I just wanted people to talk to you to keep me awake because I'm struggling right now. I'm really struggling to stay awake but I don't want to miss on anything. Hi buddy, yeah, all good here? All good here. I've been insomnia at the mo. So I need to, oh, fair enough. If anyone is busy right now, though, seriously, just come back if you're bored. Um, there's no importance to this live. Hey, Scott. Hello to everyone that's joined. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to find something to really chat about. Um, oh, thank you, David. That's really awesome to hear. Thank you very much. We're just here to talk, to talk about rubbish, to keep me awake until the Black Friday deals go live online. Um, is there anyone that's specifically looking for anything in these days? Does anyone know of anything invert-wise that's going to be going on Black Friday deals? Because I ain't got a clue. I haven't heard of anything. But obviously that would be the first place I'd go if anyone's heard of anybody that's going to be putting out some Black Friday deal deals. Whether it be enclosures, um, live animals, whatever. Ah, multitasking. Awesome. Good job. Good job. I'm, uh, me personally, I just sit with the Amazon one up, although they've already kind of started. I'll be interested to see what fires up at midnight, if anything, anything good at all. Last time I was working through Black Friday, um, the point of midnight, and then I think I had to sleep most of the day the next day, so I kind of missed out on everything. I get to take my daughter to school in the morning, which means I get to go and have a look around the shops because her school is quite close to our city centre. So I get to have a little look around the shops in the morning, but I don't like the hustle and bustle of people. So likelihood is I'll have a quick browse and go home because I do have work tomorrow evening too. But yeah, so anyone heard of anything, anything at all Black Friday wise that could be of any use to the hobby? Because if I spark something up, I tell you what, I've got my computer to the side of me. If I spark something up, that's going to help any of us in the invert hobby and I see it for Black Friday deals, I will let you know. That's a cracking idea. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's have a little looky then. Nobody uses Bing anymore. Let me go back to Google. Oh no, the computer doesn't want to play. Right, come on. Right. So, I'm going to put in here, Black Friday Deals Vivarium. Let's see if anything comes up. I know a lot of it will be like snake vivariums, but you never know. You never know. So, let's see what's what's up and about. Sorry, I didn't realise there was comments. So, Scott is saying that uh, Creatures from the North have a Black Friday 20% off. That's pretty cool. I'm gutted off broke. So many legs, they have a cobalt blue for a tenner. Oh, do they? Nice one. Yeah, I saw that they put their stock list up. I got the email. There isn't a lot on there that I can afford or that I want at the minute. Uh, look at the product placement. We bought the Echo Dot. Really cheap. Nice one. Hello? Sorry, I'm going on. Yeah, waiting for Black Friday. I'm literally sat here. I've got my computer to the side. You guys are here to keep me awake. That's your job. Um... And I'm also going to be looking up some pre-Black Friday stuff. And if I can find anything invert-related, I will let you know. 
My niece is doing Black Friday deal tomorrow. She's a body piercer. Get your nose pierced. No, you're all right. I can't actually have piercings in my job, unfortunately. Uh, they all have to be taken out, which is an absolute nightmare. Hello, Ollie. Uh, wow, I'm missing a lot here. We're having a giveaway all TVs for free after midnight today due to green mission standards and recycling. What? Oh, look, target customer support. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Fair enough. Imagine this guy on Boxing Day. <laughs> Pizza from North twenty percent off. Yeah, that's cool. I'll have to look at that. Well, I'm really, am I really behind or what? Hello to everyone that's joined, by the way. Twenty D to guarantee twenty three ten extra seventy two item. It's very nice. And two mantis, hoping to get vinegaring. Uh, you know what? I need to get the ex so material item back in my collection because I actually gave them away to a young person in the end. I bred them for a few generations. I had hundreds of nymphs. And I ended up giving them away to someone young who wanted to get into the hobby. Um, those doors and walls are from Black Friday. P and Q. I'm only 16. Wow. Um, I'm not going to repeat what you've put on there for target customer support. You know what, I'm scrolling right down to the bottom here. You missed me at the Southern Invest Show. Yes, I remember you commented. Um, I was there, I was there from, well, early morning, not early morning, 11ish. When the doors were about to open, I hit the back of the queue. Five minutes later, the queue was massive, absolutely massive behind me. But I was there for most of the day. I think I left just after the raffle. After Christmas, you want a mystery box from Bortsmouth Tarantulas. I enjoy your mystery box. Too. Oh, you want to send me one? Oh, you, that's very kind of you. You don't have to do anything like that, though. Like, honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm open to donations. I'm happy to take donations, and I'll, I'll name things after people and things like that. But don't ever feel that you have to, to give me absolutely anything. Uh, show this Sunday? No, I'm not. I'm not going to anything now until potentially. Um, what am I going to go to? C's potentially C's now. Hello, by the way. C's will probably be the next one for me. I've got it approved for my work, so I will. I can go but I've got to work out my travel expenses and accommodation at the minute. I was going to stay actually with a family member who was about an hour's drive away from Seas. That family member is now moving and will be moving mid-January, which then gives me, what, like two weeks to show up at their house, which is still not that far, but I feel like I'm in the way then, coming up to someone who's only moved house two weeks prior or less and just being like, yeah, I'm staying at your house. You know, it's, it's a little bit awkward now, so. It was a good meet up at Southern. It really was. I loved that. Even though I was not in the best of health, <laughs> as it were, from the night drinking sessions. I tell you what, we've got on here. So, let's have a look. Black Friday deals up to 70% off plus 10 times royalty points with swell reptiles. I don't ever buy from swell reptiles, but have they got any really cool vivariums? Let's have a little look. Um, let's have a look at those nice acrylic ones. Let's see if they're going to do that. Up to 70 cent off thousands of products. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so... How much is the deal with that one? Bear with me, guys. I'll be back with you. I want to have a look. You know those full acrylic ones with the magnetic lids? I love those enclosures. They don't always have the depth that you need for certain inverts, but they've got perfectly crystal clear looks all the way through. So which size was this one? This is a 30 by 20 by 15. So this is a, the okay size one, and they're going to be £19.27 each, which ain't bad, but I still don't particularly want to buy one for 20 quid. Um, I normally buy the size down from that for 20 quid. 
So it is a good deal, but it's not amazing, is it? Let's be honest, these things do go on off now and again. Okay, so I've got more comments to go through. Uh, where are we? Do you want some P Magna stick insect heads to add to your collection? Yes, actually, I would love to. I had them once upon a time. Um, I actually got nymphs and they were posted to me and they, they were in terrible condition when I got them. Um, and they didn't, they just didn't survive. They were shipped to me at L1 and I thought they were going to be about L3 stage when I bought them. Um, and they just, they were mangled in that post. They were really badly packed. But yeah, I would love to. That would be really, really nice. Thank you very much. Love them to do a Northern Iron show in Belfast. There it was, I swear there's something that goes on up that way. We have nothing like that here. Um, no, I could be completely wrong. Maybe there is nothing. I'll look into it for you. I'll look into it for you. Northampton Reptile Centre are doing some deals. I don't think it's on anything live. Oh, they do sell inverts. Do they have a website? I can look that up. What do you plan on buying for Black Friday? At the minute, I am i don't know. I have no plan in mind. Um, I'm actually pretty sorted for Christmas already. So I'm more going to be looking for either awesome deals that would make like extra Christmas presents or I'll just be looking for the sake of myself for the hobby. Anything for the hobby, pretty much. Anything that I can get cheaper. Did you see what you got? In Layla's mystery box. Yes, I did. I did. I must have forgot to comment on that. If I did, I do apologise. But yeah, I watched it. Because yeah, yeah, she ended up with a few <laughs> old worlds, didn't she? <laughs> Sorry about that. Been used well for many years. They're amazing. Awesome. I'll look more into their website in a moment then. I pop by and say hi. I'm going to spend the rest of my evening with the family. Ah, oh, lovely that you joined. Thanks for joining. Have a good evening with your family. Um, you used well before. Yeah, I know, sorry, yeah, about, about the mystery box. Yeah, I do know you're a YouTuber as well. I have been on to yours. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you want to, I'd, I'd be more than happy. And obviously, I'd give you the shout out and the, the links to your channel and all of that malarkey. Hiya, Lewis. How are you doing? Are the leaf insects hatched at all? Half mine are out now. Not at the minute, Jay, but I think that's because i put up a shelving thing i moved the shelving section in my in the realm um and i've got the main section now in a really awesome place that's at good temperature but i also moved a thinner shelving rack to a wall and anything i've got over wise is also on that shelf but what i didn't realize was that the actual wall behind so this shelf is just shelving there's no back panel and I didn't realise until not that long ago that that wall is actually really, really cold. Um, it does lead to the outside. But a wall down here, if I touch it over here, this leads to the outside. It's not cold. But the one up there is cold. So now I've had to move everything again. So a lot of over and stuff would be delayed now for me because they've spent a few weeks being on against a cold wall that I didn't even notice. You put your hand near it, it feels warm enough. You touch the wall, it's freezing. Uh, PM me on Instagram, not a problem at all. Do you have any other hobbies apart from your animals? Um, okay, yes. So I used to be very much into photography, um, but not animal photography. I did a lot of portrait work. I did a bit of modelling work as well, not me as the model. Um, I did a whole case file for somebody, but this is going back quite a long time ago now. And I lost my passion for it. I really lost my passion for people, basically. I got very frustrated. I did a lot of my photography for free. I even did a wedding for free. And in the wedding that I did for free, I was furious because I could have charged an awful lot of money for this wedding. But I said to the bride and the groom, do you want to see the raw images, the unedited raw images? And you pick which ones you like and I will work through them. And the bride, all she had to say was moaning about one photo where it appeared that her dress was slightly see-through. Well, newsflash, darling, your dress was slightly see-through. The whole world could see it. 
you know, because I happen to capture that on the camera, you know, get a different dress. It's not my fault. And I could have simply gone, OK, I'll edit that out. But because she was quite rude about it, I thought, you know what, screw you. So I ended up uh, taking all the photos back and I, I never sent them the full, full lot in the end. And that's where I lost a lot of my passion for photography. Um, Northern Exotics here. Look, the, the guy who beat me. The guy who beat me for subscribers. You're not welcome here, sir. No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Uh, it was nice to see that your channel's blown up, man. I really, it's really, really good to see. Right, I am probably, um, right, I'm having to scroll down a bit now. I'm sorry if I missed anyone's comments. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Oh, Rara's here. Hello. Oh, right, if I miss anyone's comments, I do apologise. I'm literally cutting to the bottom now because I'm going to be way behind. Um, what's the deadline to get the fatal fangs? Right, so with this, I'm going to have to probably extend it a bit, but it can be a lot more casual now, um, purely for the fact that we never reached the amount of people. So I'm going to cut it dead on the 32. I've written my list, actually, on here. Where is it? Uh, I don't know where I've saved it, but I will find it. I've written the list of people that are going to be going through. Um, so it'll be the first 30 that made a comment, plus two of the admins from last year will have auto entry to Fatal Fangs. Anyone after the 30th one written on that post, unfortunately won't be able to play um, because we didn't reach our 64. So I will check with every single person on that list at some point if they're still taking part, because if not, I'll move down to the next one on the list. And then I'll message all of you about when to get bits and bobs in. But we're just going to take it as casual as possible now. Now I have to deal with half the amount of people. It's going to make Fatal Fangs so much easier. So I'm not in so much of a hurry now. I want to see Sam in bikini. You you really don't. It's not pretty. What have we lost here? Shit, <laughs> don't start beef. What is the Fatal Fangs dang thing? I've heard a few people going on about it. It was the Tarantula Feeding uh, Tournament. That if you just go on my channel and look down, you'll, you'll find the whole things from last year. I don't even want to get into last year's because there was a lot of issues. But it was good fun. Two more clips to do. Awesome, Mark. Well, you were one of the, one of the easiest people for me to get clips off last year. I asked you for it. You sent it. There was never any drama with you. It was fantastic. You don't want to be up against Mark. Oh, to be, you see, that's the good thing about Fatal Fangs, though. Mark has got to be, you know, the in my eyes, was the legend of last year's Fatal Fangs. Because just the way it was done was amazing. But you get put up against somebody that was known to be amazing. You know, that can bring you publicity. So whether you would win or lose, people will see that you were facing Mark, if you know what I mean. So it would be like, oh, who's this person like for people? Because Mark's obviously got a lot more than me and yourself or us put together, in fact. So it would actually benefit you. <laughs> I don't know who anyone's going to be up against yet. But literally, as soon as I've messaged each of those people to go up to the 32 and double check they want to be still a part of it, then it will all be just sending me stuff in. So... Oh, yeah, this Secret Santa thing. I got messaged about this earlier as well um, by Rachel, Princess Sophie Pink's mum. I didn't even know there was one. I kind of got told by Kelly that there was some sort of Secret Santa thing going on in Instagram, but I was never added to anything. So, I, But I don't really use my Instagram that much, so that's probably why. <laughs> it ain't happening, Mark. Well, you've still got time, mate. You've still got time. I know I said the deadline was the end of the year, but because I could be a bit more casual now, it won't matter, give or take a few more weeks, if need be, because I've still got to mess around to get everything right on the versus screens. I want to really make some epic versus screens this year, just for fun. I just want it to be, like, visually fun and creative and just, just fun to watch. No seriousness, no... 
arguments, no any of the bad stuff. I just want it all to look fun and come together. Well, you talk about you for any of your tarantulas eat. I did twice now in the last month I've planned a feeding video and both times I've tried to do that feeding video I've had less than three I think eat and they were really boring takedowns as well really boring takedowns so I that's why I've had no feeding video for quite a long time Bug World started it I think I come out of the group got my details for who I need to send to oh okay yeah I think somebody did tell me that Bug World did start it, but I don't, I don't know why I wasn't involved. I, to be honest, I'm not too fussed. Oh, hey Martin, how you doing? What about happened to PSP's channel of copper? Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It, they, I'm pretty sure they will probably class it as a as a child's channel. Reverse well, picks move. Um, probably not, only for the fact that I would have to get loads of people would have a green screen or something for me to have that work properly and I didn't really want to put too much pressure but there will be I'm trying to work on an animation at the minute but it's actually going to cost me a little bit and it won't be yourselves animated but it will be the background animated and it doesn't actually cost me that much but I want to make sure I get it right before I decide whether or not to take that animation just so you're aware guys it's in the UK 11.37 here once it's that stroke of midnight I am going to be off because that's when I'm going to go looking for me shopping flex my muscles against you Mark <laughs> can't see PSP continuing to be monetized no yeah I agree do you have to admin secret Santa honestly I'm not first I, I don't really mind like I think if you guys have already got your person now then it's probably a bit late and I'm really I'm really not too fussed at the minute I'm kind of uh, I can't say much but there is something Christmassy I'm already working on anyway so one video taken down one video turned comments off but that's it took eight hours to mark 300 videos I, j I just click channel is not for kids and they do what they want with it Oh, Mark, the next one's on the Troy Peppy. Oh, that's awesome. I'd love to go. I'd love to see that. I can't wait for that video. Is it still a feisty one, or is it? Or does it behave for you? I hope there's going to be some good fish stuff on offer. Tanks and filters. Yeah. I want a filter for a project I'm working on right now. But I, I'm not very good when it comes to aquatics. So... Right, I'm scrolling down again, guys. Oh, Haley's here. Hi, Haley. How are you doing? Oh, right. I've lost that website I was on. I was on Swell Reptiles, wasn't I? Let's have. You know what? I like those really tiny acrylic enclosures that are for slings. Spider Shop sell them too. Um, and I get them actually in my hometown. I want to know if they do them on here. Let me just have a little search. Uh, yeah, you can do it as a whole channel. You can pop it through on that one. I'll tell you what always look nice. Them, those black-sided acrylic display boxes, but I'd never get them because the way I sometimes position my enclosures, I, I kind of wouldn't be looking, wanting to look through the side. And these black ones, they don't quite give you that opportunity, which is a real shame. Hang on, let's look at this by... Oh, there's no filter by price. That, that's a little bit irritating. Sorry, guys, I will read the things in a minute. I'm just, I'm looking for a specific enclosure here and I cannot find it. Come on, Black Friday. Give us something good. Bom, bom, bom. Anyone else feeling the pain of being skint at a time 
I know the good centipedes of a spirit. Yes, that's some venomous visions is hurting me. Yes, I am incredibly skint right now. Sydney funnel web, but hundred pound can't afford this time of year. Oh, Mark, no way, no way. That would be an amazing thing to have on your channel, especially with the way that you film. I wish I knew where Peter Webster gets all his money. <laughs> oh, you and me both. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you had that, didn't you? You got your um, Amazon, is it your Amazon thingy page that's got stuff that you sell? Is it an Amazon one? I can't remember. I have two teenage boys at Christmas. I just have a nine-year-old. I mean, mum. Uh, <laughs> that's that's going to be it for me for Christmas. But said nine-year-old has cost me an absolute fortune. Because the things she wanted, I've got to be careful what I say because she's upstairs. The things that she wanted, the way I said, oh, my light's gone, sorry about that. I said, oh, that's that's a bit too expensive. She turned around and said to me, oh, that's okay. Don't worry, Daddy, I'll ask Santa for it so it doesn't cost you any money. Suddenly, heart attack mode. So, yeah, my bank account is ruined right now. Goodness me. <laughs> they cost loads. Well, yeah, I, I don't have to think about teenage years for a few more years yet. I can't be dealing with a teenager. You know what? Having this on my phone is really annoying. People have got to click it to read your comments. Hoverboard gaming chair and bunch of dino stuff. Mine just cost me a switch. So, yeah, I wasn't impressed. Right, what other places have we got? Let's have a look. Go back on Google. Um, what other deals? Internet reptile? I have no idea who they are. I don't look. The thing is, when you type in for vivariums, you get a lot of reptile stuff. I don't know reptiles, so. I don't know these websites either. Right, have I missed anything? Ah, oh, the fishing one died, did it? Second sack, though. Blimey. Got to switch through the phone contract. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> I have five of them to buy for. You see, this is why I only wanted one child. I've got a lot of godchildren now. I've got, like, four godchildren. I just don't think I'm going to buy from this year. <laughs> as evil as that sounds. Right, I am not finding anything I'm after. I know it hasn't officially started yet, but you guys have kept me awake, and there's only 15 minutes to go. What is this? No, that is hideous. We are not going to buy that. That is not a tarantula vivarium whatsoever. I'm surprised that there's 21 people still sat here when literally I'm not actually doing anything. My GBB turned out to be a tiger rump. I got the BTS. They mislabeled it. Oh, that's gutting. Child maintenance? Yeah. Um, well, I don't live with my daughter's mum. So I half understand. I say half because I got kind of loophole in mind where I, I supply for my daughter and only for my daughter. Um, I don't actually pass a single penny to other parents. Um, everything goes straight to her. So I'm quite fortunate in that way. What we got here, price drops.
Mm. <laughs> oh, I've got to get my Amazon page loaded up, ready. I'm excited. Excited to see what goes. I bet you nothing changes. I bet I've sat up all night and everything stays exactly the same. Because everyone starts Black Friday stuff really early now, don't they? And I, I never know if it's actually going to change on the day. Right, where am I here? I have to go do the washing up. <laughs> oh, shame. Well, it was lovely to have you here. Onesie for you. Yeah, if someone buys me a onesie, I will wear a onesie. But I am not buying a onesie. Explain. my cost me 87 a week. Oh. Um, see you later, Mark. Oh, staring to the void, staring at Sam is better. Oh, you know it, gal. Um, how did I do it? I just got, um, I just talked a lot over with her mum, and I basically just told her straight, I'm not putting money in your bank account, um, unless I've got proof of it, it goes on my child. And we talked it over for a long time, and agreements were made so that I basically cover all her uniforms each year, her school trips each year, anything she has when she's around my house. If she runs out of or grows out of certain clothes, I cover them. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's, it kind of balances out because although she's got to pay for you know the meals every day, I'm paying for all the bigger things just slightly less often. Plus I still have her over three days and two nights a week so I'm having to pay out for almost half a week anyway so it kind of works out pretty much equal you're buzzing to have a good shop yeah I am it's a shame you can't uh, you can't you can't buy girlfriends online well you actually you can but we're not going to talk about that kind of thing on this live not that I actually want one have fun doing your dishes thank you I'm sorry if I am skipping anyone's. I've got to keep going down. I've got to go phone my first player. Good night, Scott. Lovely to have you here. It's alright, guys. I'm going in 12 minutes anyway. 12 minutes. I'm probably just going to keep this live, actually, on my YouTube channel. So when everyone clicks on it for a replay, they're going to be like, what have I just watched? Largest amount of dislikes I've ever had on my channel. In fact, yeah, it probably is going to get ahead of a lot of dislikes um, because there's no actual purpose to this video so if you guys could give me that thumbs up just to keep the ratio up for me that would be great because all the people that will put it on a replay are either just going to skip this video or put a thumbs down which is fine but if you want to help me out just give me that thumbs up now because I don't like seeing the ratio go below green and if people don't know what that means um, I've got add-ons for YouTube and it goes green if you're like 100% or in the 90s um, for your ratio of like to dislike then it goes to yellow, then it goes to red. And I like to try and keep in the green, just out of OCD reasons, really. Become a chicken. <laughs> Emperor scorpions. Yeah, I wouldn't trust myself with one. I don't do well with scorpions. I love scorpions, but I just don't do well with them. Oh, hey, JB Inverts and Reptiles. Uh, it's molted in my care, actually. Um, and so did Kelly's. We they both molted one day apart from each other, so just doing well at the moment. Ah, you already gave me the thummy. Thank you. You can call me Dan if you want to. <laughs> you average ninety four percent. I don't know what my average is. I haven't got a clue. I just like seeing it by colour. So, I should be colourblind and then I'd be less OCD. Oh. Right. It is nearly time, ladies and gentlemen. So if there's anything anyone wants to ask me, it's ten minutes till I'm gone to do my shopping. So, ask away now. Now is your chance. While I have a little looky on it here. Oh, you don't get colours.
Israeli gold scorpion for over a year. It's your favourite one. I just don't do well with any scorpion. I don't know why. I've still got one at the minute. I think it's the, the Peter Sai or Peter C, Peter C, Peter Sai, however you say it. Um, one of the Asian forest variety. And that one's still alive and kicking, but... Oh, no, and I've got another one as well. What one have I got? I can't remember. It was given to me by that pet page, and that's it's a really dinky one. And that one's still alive. And that one's really cool, actually. You're off anyway. No problem, buddy. I'll see you next time. I even fancy doing a little collab with me. A bit of a brainwave today after I got a parcel from the spider shop, but I need to put a few things in place. I would happily say yes, um, but I'm really busy. Well, everyone's busy this time of year, but I'm trying to get ahead of myself at the minute video-wise to cover me for Christmas. Um, so I'm going to be spending the next two weeks basically on my days off just filming what I can so that I can kind of put some in advance and try and lead up to Christmas um, so I can try but I can't make promises but you can always just PM me and, and say what you're after flat has been quite hardy for me I had a flat rock and it died um, but it was big it was big never saw it eat I'm pretty sure the environment was fine for it um, and yeah, just one day, just was just there, just dead. And I don't know why. I have no idea. Oh, it was a wild caught one, mind. Scorpions the only things I keep. Best animals in the world. Well, maybe I could try and get some um, more advice off you because I just don't do well with them. I really don't know what I do wrong. So, well, I knew what I did wrong with one. My H. Um, Lauticus or Lauticus or however you say it I messed up the humidity on that one after I rehoused it so I learned from my mistake from that one but any other one I've had I have no idea why it's passed I'm always down for a collab says Jay yeah I did one with you haha -ha. oh, depending on what it is yes yes very true you, you never know what you get yourself into we got seven minutes till this live ends guys Oh, you caught it in France. You know what? I'm actually going to be hunting for that genus soon. I was supposed to do it Tuesday. I was supposed to do it Tuesday, but it was hammering it down with rain here. But I am going to go hunting for them on the Tuesday coming up. So I will let you know if I find any here in the UK. I know there have been sightings, and I've got my little UV torch. I'm going to go out at night time, and I'm going to try and find me some scorpions. Yeah, I'll, I'll check back onto your channel and have a look at your, your scorpion takedowns. It probably won't be tonight, though, because I'm going to finish this shop and then go to sleep. Um, so I've got a school run in the morning. I don't go to bed until half three, quarter to four in the morning last night. And then I still had to, I had to get up and do the school run at seven. Probably do it in the new year. Yeah, no problem. January is depressing after Christmas, yeah. Colony in Skegness. Oh, that'd be interesting. Realised you had homework. <laughs> Teachers can see the time I did it. I don't mind me just doing my homework at midnight. Just a bit out of context. That's <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I didn't get that much homework when I was young, to be fair. They're getting worse and worse with that now. Okay, we're down to the five minute countdown now, guys. And then I'm going to abandon you all for my own selfish needs. So, as I keep saying, if there is anything you want to know, let's have a look at some flash sales. Ba -bom -bom. Lightning deals. Ten kilograms of go cat, chicken and duck. Well, I don't have a cat, so we're not doing that. Shed ton of art stuff. Well, I'm rubbish at art. Come on, bring out the good stuff. Some massive toy set that actually looks like I would play with it. Because I'm a big child. Fisher Price Classics. I 
actually looks like a load of tat to me at the moment. A uh, video talk about as an agent on the thumbnail. No problem, I'll find it. I'm sure I can find it. Apparently they've made the GCSE 50% harder than it used to be when my parents were at school. Yeah, they the curriculum keeps getting harder and harder and harder now. Um, I did GCSE, I did A-levels. I did quite a lot in A-levels, but I never went to uni. Um, but I, honestly, I shouldn't really be saying this to the younger audience, but just don't worry about it. As long as you do your best, like it doesn't matter... There's a lot of very, very rich and famous people in this world with no education. Like, dropouts from school were like 13, 14 years old. So, and they've made it better than most of us ever have. I'd ban homework, vote for me. I hope to call my daughter because I don't agree with the curriculum. Oh, dear, that's cool. That is very interesting. Well, at least she's got someone nice to look at all day long, eh? Don't tell your partner I said that. Voice activated spider, that's class. Skip school. <laughs> Skip school. Kids go drink and have fun. No, that's not what I'm saying. Eleven year old daughter's homework, it looked difficult, yes. I I've heard a lot of people say the same thing. Bright gold Oxfords. I mean, allowed anything like that. Get out of here with your flashy shoes, teacher. <laughs> That's hilarious. Two minutes now, guys, and I'm gone. So I'm going to try and wrap this up and say thank you very much for joining me and keeping me awake because I was nodding off. I've even got my pillow by my sofa at the moment because um, I'm so tired. Bug keeper in oh, Australia. Oh yeah, you've got the no input export. Oh yeah, of course you have. Ah, uh, hundred k, hundred. Well, yeah, don't, don't risk it for that kind of money. Hairless troll figure in the mail. That's hilarious. Right, guys, um, I'm off now. Just my luck. I just got home and looked like saying goodnight. You missed nothing. I literally, I came on here. For people to keep me awake until midnight so that I could go and look at the Black Friday deals. So I'm going to be off. Thank you everyone for keeping me awake. Please if anyone else would like to give me that thumbs up just because I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on the replay of this video because there was nothing entertaining about it whatsoever. Take care everyone. I'm going to try and find how to end this thing because I always forget. And it was lovely seeing you all. I really do appreciate having a chat with you all. Thank you. Bye.